Hi, Dr. Windish here again with our uh, ongoing video educational series for parents. Today we want to talk about the use of meter dose inhalers uh, to deliver a medication or a group of medications known as bronchodilators for children. And we want to talk about why we use them. Remember that this series is not intended to replace any consultation with your physician. If you have concerns or questions, please make an appointment to be seen. We'd be happy to see you in our office at 775-359-7111. Just give us a call and we'll schedule an appointment. So why would we use bronchodilators in children? Well, bronchodilators open up some of the small airways in the lungs that have some smooth muscle in there that can contract as a result of airway irritants. Without a doubt, this happens in asthma, but it happens in other disease states as well. And sometimes this confuses parents because we're placing children on asthma medications when the child does not have asthma and that seems a little odd to parents. Realize that these drugs don't aren't specific to asthma, they don't treat asthma, they treat bronchoconstriction. And bronchoconstriction or narrowing of those airways in the, the smaller airways in the lung can occur in multiple disease states. These drugs also enhance the ability of the small hairs that line those tubes to beat both in unison, to beat faster, and to beat stronger. This enhances the ability of the lungs to clear out mucus. Sometimes this is referred to as, as, as enhanced mucociliary clearance. So what are some disease states where we might use this? Well, anything where there's a lot of mucus in the lungs. Pneumonia. Many patients with pneumonia benefit from the use of bronchodilators. Not because the patient is bronchoconstricted, but because there's pus in the lungs. And enhanced mucociliary clearance will help you to get that, that uh, purulent or pussy material out. We might use it in bronchitis for the same reason. We use it in a disease state called bronchiolitis. Because again, there's a tremendous amount of mucus being produced along with a certain amount of constriction of the bronchi. And this helps to open the bronchi up and again helps to, to remove the mucus from the lungs. Now in the case of bronchiolitis, the use of bronchodilators is somewhat controversial. There is some research that suggests it doesn't help. But there's also a variety of research that suggests that it does help. So many physicians still use it, especially considering there's no other alternative. Finally, remember, in the case of asthmatics, Many asthmatic children are incapable of producing a wheeze. So just because the child is not wheezing does not mean that they're not having an asthma attack with bronchoconstriction. Many children with asthma simply present with cough. And that is the only symptom that you're going to hear. There are ways to demonstrate this in laboratory tests, but these tests are not something that you can do in a very young child. So there's no easy way to prove it. But many of these children just cough for days or weeks on end. And again, they improve with bronchodilators. So what are some bronchodilators that we use? Well, some of the name brands that you'll see uh, on the market include Zopinex or Levalbuterol, Albuterol, including its various name brands, uh, Proair, Venolin, Provenol HFA. We might use bronchodilators in the form of a nebulized solution. Again, Zopinex, Albuterol. Once in a while in the hospital, we'll use bronchodilators with something known as alpha-1 effect, and we'll use something called racemic epinephrine or L-epinephrine to inhale as well. Again, you may not have asthma. You may not have wheezing. You may simply have a lot of mucus in your lungs, but this will help to get the mucus out. will make the child feel better. will help prevent having that mucus settle in there, trapping bacteria and allowing pneumonia. And if you have pneumonia, we'll help you to clear the pneumonia. This is Dr. Kevin Windish. Again, if you have any concerns or questions, we're happy to see you in our office, same day if need be. Give us a call at 359-7111. That's area code 775. Or you can fan us on Facebook at Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. We'll see you next time.